What's going on people? It's your boy Ricardo. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're talking about one of DJI's newest products on the market, that being the lav mic setup. Now this product right here has saved my ass a number of times, and I've gotta say, I am mega impressed with it. It's got multiple features that I'm gonna run through with you today. I'm also gonna do a couple of tests to show you a sort of more hands-on personal experience using this mic setup. And I've gotta say, this setup, is phenomenal. Let's crack on with the video. So I want to start off by saying that this is not a paid review. I actually bought the mic set up myself from a friend that I met on a shoot about three months ago, and I've been using it religiously ever since then. This is the first complete wireless setup that I've actually used during my filmmaking journey. Prior to this, I was using a setup that had multiple cables involved, and it meant you had to hide them each and every time you wanted to shoot with the mics. And it did get a little bit time consuming and sometimes a bit annoying to make sure that all of the wires were hidden, etc. The other thing is that I went through a number of AAA batteries on my previous setup, whereas this is all internally charged from a USB-C charger, so I don't have to worry about buying batteries for my mic setup any longer. Now if you don't know, the way you charge this thing is through a centralised hub which is proper slick and proper tidy. I mean it's got a lid that opens and closes, it shows you on the front of it where the charging indicator is, how much battery life you've got left of the actual hub. That doesn't refer to the battery life of the actual receiver and transmitters, I'll show you that a bit later on. But yeah, just a really slick design, nice and tidy, nice and compact, you can slip that straight in your bag with your camera and other bits and pieces and you're ready to roll. So let me run you through quickly what's included with this product when you buy it off the shelf. You obviously get the charging hub with the charging cable. You get a wireless receiver, nice and tidy and compact. You get two wireless transmitters which can be used to record simultaneously or individually depending on what sort of content you're shooting. And you also get two adapters, one for an iPhone and one for a phone with a USB-C port like a Samsung for example. And what they allow you to do is plug the receiver directly into the smartphone and you can record audio directly to your phone if you're using a phone to shoot your videos. You also get an aux cable that plugs right into your receiver and that can be put into the mic input on a DSLR camera. The receiver also will sit on top of a DSLR camera quite nicely via the hot shoe adapter that they also provide. It also comes with two windshields. Now these windshields are another level. DJI have introduced a screw-on mechanism for these and what that allows you to do is attach them to the transmitters nice and easily and you don't have to worry about them falling off mid-shoot. I myself have experienced that issue before just from moving about and stuff with the mic on your chest. Sometimes the windshield can fall off and it just becomes problematic. So for DJI to have introduced this particular feature to a windshield, I think it's excellent. And last but not least, they also give you a nice little storage pouch to store everything inside. Now one particular thing that's really impressed me with this mic is the battery life. The transmitters and the receiver have up to 15 hours battery life and on top of that they have up to 14 hours internal storage. So if you don't have enough space to store a lot of audio, if you're doing podcast work and stuff, you can actually record directly to the transmitter and then plug that into your computer and extract the audio file to use within a project, which I think is incredible. Now one particular issue that I had with my previous mic setup was the range. I would do a lot of outdoor filming, including fishing trips and things where I'm not necessarily gonna be up and close with the person that I'm shooting. This particular mic setup offers up to 250 meters of transmission, which is insane. We're gonna do a little test now to see if that actually works. So yeah, let's check it out. Yes guys, so you join me down at my local park. Now the reason why I've come down here is as you can see behind me, there is plenty of space to do this test nice and accurately. So what I've decided to do is bring my drone out today. It's nice and sunny, there's a little bit of wind, but the windshield on this mic is gonna do more than a good job of protecting me whilst I'm walking along to uh, do this test. So yeah, the idea is I'm gonna put the drone up, I'm gonna mark the home point above me at this location, and I'm gonna fly the drone 250 meters that way. Once it arrives at that distance, I'm gonna put the camera facing downwards to the floor, and then from here, I'm gonna walk and go 
all the way up to the drone. When I reach the drone, I'm gonna test the mic and hopefully it still works. So lovely little test, hopefully everything goes well. Let's crack on and see how this mic really performs at range. Right, so we're about 165 meters away now. Um, got another 50 or so to go, and then I'm gonna point the camera downwards. So you can see me entering the shot. 220, 230, 235. 247, just creep it a little bit more forward. And we're there. So I'm going to take it up a little bit just to keep it away from everyone. Point the camera downwards. And that is where you're going to see me in a couple of minutes' time for the range test. So I'll catch up with you when I get to the other end. Right, so I'm at the 250 metre distance. Hopefully, you can still hear me. <laughs> I'm sure this mic is living up to everyone's expectations. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We're going to go back now. Well, I'm hoping that the mic has smashed it. Nice bit of walking for me as well today. So yeah, just wanted to do a quick test to test the transmission range of my new mic setup. I was at a 250 meter distance. It seems like it was all good. I don't have anyone here to sort of mark the audio for me, which would have been quite nice, but yeah, it's during the week. So hopefully it all went well. Let's go back to the editing room. Really impressive stuff on the transmission front. I've got to say, being able to work at those distances is incredible. Now this long range transmission feature is really benefiting me at the moment, particularly for some of the stuff that I shoot. I do a lot of outdoor based fishing videos and within those videos, I sometimes have to film at range with a drone. Using this, I can clip one of the transmitters directly to the angler. He can go out in a boat, drop and place his rigs, do whatever he needs to. And at the same time, I can film with the drone, get the footage I need. And I know I've got crystal clear audio from him that I can then later overlay in post. Now just a little bit more on the transmitter itself and the windshield that I mentioned previously. It's got a nice screw on mechanism, so you attach it on the top like that and it just sits nice and flush. I can then clip that to my chest and we're good to go. On top of that, if you don't want to show your mic, you can also hide it. And I believe this is another unique feature to DJI. I don't believe any other manufacturer has come up with this idea yet. And I'm really, really impressed with it. So on more subtle shoots, i.e. weddings that I do, if I want to hide the mic, they've introduced a really strong magnet that goes on the back of the clip. So what you can do is you can put it under your chest and then you can put the magnet on your top like that and boom, it's a lot more subtle. You can still get the audio coming through your top, no problem at all. And yeah, it's just amazing. Just so you know, the audio coming out of the camera right now is from a top mic, it's not from a DJI mic. But we will do a test now to show you exactly what it sounds like when it's clipped underneath a piece of clothing. Right, so like I said back at the desk, I've come out to do an actual test using the mic underneath a garment of clothing. So as you can see, I've got the clip here on my neck and the mic is actually sitting just underneath my jumper. You can obviously still hear me and I know the audio is mega crisp. So yeah, just wanted to do a quick test to show you how to do that and what it sounds like. Now, whilst I've got this in my hand still, I wanna just talk a little bit more about the receiver. Like I say, the receiver can be connected uh, via a hot shoe adapter to any DSLR camera if it has that mount. So yeah, really helpful. It's nice and slick. I'll show you a visual now of it connected to the top of my camera so you can see how nice and compact it is. And then obviously you plug in your aux cable to the outpool and directly into your mic input. So yeah, nice and simple. It also has a headphone port as well if you want to listen to the audio, but I plug that directly into my camera and you get the same relay from that. 
Um, but yeah, if you're using it without a camera, or maybe plugging it into your phone, for example, you can then put some headphones in there to work out how your audio is sounding. Across the front, everything is touch screen, so you can slide along and select whatever you want to mess around with. You can use these two mics together or individually, and you can also control the, the gain on both of them. Um, it's really easy to use. You just slide up, scroll across, decide what you want to use, and then boom, everything's sorted. You can also control the volume as well from the receiver directly as well. So if you want to turn it down when you've got your headphones plugged in, that can also be achieved there. Other settings on it include vibration notification, there's linking stuff there, you can change the brightness, you can even change the language if you like. So yeah, there's loads of stuff there that you can play around with to get the ultimate setup that suits you. So just to quickly mention the buttons that are on the transmitter itself, you've got the on and off button there. If you press and hold that for a few seconds, the device vibrates and then the green light turns on. That's how you know you are on and ready to go. It also has a USB port there. That can be then plugged into your machine and you can extract the audio file directly from this if you're recording internally. On the other side, you've got a pairing button. Now to be honest, this thing is clever enough to know that it's connected to the receiver from the charging hub. So when you take it out, it automatically pairs. There's not really anything you need to do on that front, but if it does lose connection for whatever reason, you can press and hold that and it will pair with the receiver automatically. And last but not least, it has a recording button. If you press that once, it will turn the red light on and it will start recording audio directly to the transmitter, which you can later extract if you're using it within a project. Obviously press it once more and it stops recording. So there you have it, a quick overview of my recently purchased DJI lav mic setup. I can't lie to you, I'm mega impressed with this thing and I will be using it going forward for many years to come, I believe. It's done everything that I've needed it to do. I've not had any issues with it. And as you know, DJI are probably one of the best manufacturers for drone technology and camera-based equipment out there. So I really do have trust in this product and I know that it's gonna deliver exactly what I need to when I need it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on. I'm gonna do more product reviews in the future. I've been wanting to do this particular one for a good few weeks now, so I've finally managed to find some time to sit down and talk to you a little bit about it. But yeah, thanks for subscribing if you have already. Thanks for watching the content, and I'll see you in the next one.